Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore. Today, I'm going to show you, I have a three-pound jewelry bag that I picked up at my local thrift. She names them, this is the mixed metal. That's what it's called. There it is. I typically buy the beads. Um, I find I get luck with some stones and gem, like, you know, different types of gemstones um, in those bags. But today, I wanted a mixed metal because it has been a while. So, I have my magnet ready. Yeah, so I can test things to see my loop to look. Uh, I will test for um, sterling. I just washed it. Sterling or gold, if that's a chance possibility for me. And I have the proscenium plugged in in case I see something that looks like a stone. Okay, so let me get started here. I'll pick this one up off the top. This says a braided accent leather watch. It's brand new in a box. This is Avon. And... Well, it says it's leather, so I don't need to smell it, but there it is. It's brown leather. It's brand new. Quartz watch, Avon. I may put that, I'm putting together like an Avon lot. I have a lot of Avon, so I'll probably put that in there. What's that? This is Geneva. Now, I thought this was nice. I know Geneva's a low-cost watch, but it's, it's fake, like, it's not really leather or animal, whatever type of animal that is supposed to be, crocodile or something, or snake. It's not real, but it's nice, I think. It's small. It's mother of pearly finish. It's a Geneva, and I think it's cute. Um, watch. There's this thing. I saw this in the bag. This is not what I saw that I wanted, but it's cool. And the less these are satiny, tie on, and they glued acrylic all over it. Looks like, an, like a child's project. It's kind of cool. Child could wear that as a belt. I'll test that. Um, this is a little pretty little pin. It has one of these bat brass back on it. I don't see any markings on it at all, but it's cute. A little sunflower, right? Or a daisy. I think it's a daisy actually. This is pretty too. I don't know what that's made out of, but this looks like a vintage pin. Here's the front. It's Celtic cross, right? Or Celtic, am I pronouncing that wrong? Um, <laughs> here's the back pin. It's nice. I think it's nice. It's different. I don't know what that material is. I can't tell. This is a Timex watch, and that's a glass um, thing. This is Timex stretch woman's band watch. It's quartz, of course. Oh, and this is pretty. Look, this looks like a hippie ring. I'll just put it up here. It doesn't fit quite. It's the flowers, brass on the inside. It's blue. It's it's a cute little ring. It's just from the 60s, 70s, 80s. Anybody know? Let me know. <laughs> um, what else do I have? These say sterling silver. I'm not going to pull them off and test them. I'm going to believe them. Those look like cubic zirconians. They're really pretty. Sterling silver, it says down there. And they are given... We're Devon Rose, New York. It's hard to read off of there, but those are nice. That's a nice find. I like the ring a lot, too. That's possibly Bakelite. I'm not sure that little uh, flower. I'll test it. This is, oh, this is this is cool, actually. Okay. That's copper and glass rings all intertwined. This is like a modernist piece of work. It's a piece of art. It's nice. That's actually nice. I believe I remember seeing this hang on the wall. What's on the wall doesn't sell. Get in the bag. I guess is one thing that I did notice, and I didn't buy it. She was asking for more than what I wanted to pay for it, but it's cool, and now I have it. It's made, like, this fits on there perfectly. So, you see that space isn't very big, so it would stay on there. This is a sequin. That's satin. Satiny there. Sequin animal print. What? And it's satiny on the inside. I don't see any name on it or anything. Somebody may have made this homemade. It's rather small. I'd have to squeeze it on. It would fit me. I don't feel like squeezing it over my hand. Oh. This is a watch it quartz. I think Japan movement. I think this one's nice. I mean, I'm going to put on a magnet. It sticks to a magnet, so I know it's not silver. It's pretty, though. I like it. It's a small size. And it, it's a nice little watch, I think. I like that one. I don't really wear a watch, but if I did, I would wear that one. 
This is a Cookie Lee, it's $12 new insert photo hair. It is a pin, and you can put a photo in it. Cookie Lee. I have a nice Cookie Lee necklace I picked up not that long ago. Okay, these say $30, black, White House Black Market. $30, let's, let's see, do they make silver? This is definitely not silver. Um, but they're, I mean, their their products sell pretty well. I've sold them on Mercaria. I saw some black market, um, White House black market on there. Purse strap, it is leather. It's brand new. Nice. Look, it has the pieces. This is nice for your evening bag. If you don't, if you're missing a chain, I may have one I need it for. But if I don't, if anybody needs one, hit me up. It's definitely leather and it's nice. It's lovely. It's not scratched and it's brand new shape that's nice too um this is a little sticky it's wood it needs clean it's a wood bangle um i'm smelling everything for bacon right now i'm pretty sure <laughs> that's wood you come on here with no makeup on <coughs> put chapstick on you guys don't care not everybody wears makeup either and I, it's not that important i just don't feel like it um, I think it's fine. This is Lane Brand, actually. It's a gunmetal look. That looks like a mirror. It's acrylic. And it's Lane Brand. They use, they still close. Are they still open? I don't even know. Is Lane Brand still around? Not sure. I never had to shop there. I probably would now. No, I'm joking. I can still fit some clothes. Um, I can still fit a lot of clothes. I'm just joking. This is Love Lost Shiny Moments by Lo Loft. There's a pair of earrings missing. Somebody must have lost them. Twenty four fifty. They say these look like a. They kind of look like. I don't know, like some kind of imitation opaline or something up top in those. I I don't know. They're they're cute. Eva might like those if they if she can wear them. That depends. I don't know what material this is. I don't see any markings or anything, but there you go. It's that sticky too. Those bracelets must have come in together and they came in sticky. This is the NHL team. I don't even, I seriously don't know what team that is. I know it's terrible. I don't watch sports. But this is a, hey, you know, it's just to hang off your purse or whatever. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is nice. I don't know if I have the other one, but it's a mother of pearl. It's very pretty, actually. Look, it's, it's a nice earring. Oh, talking of earrings, let me explain the gold that I got. Okay, you remember a silent video that I did? I did the silent video with where I was acting like I was looking in the mirror, trying on all my jewelry. That's what I was doing if you saw that and you didn't know. Wow, my gold, my very first gold finding, besides just finding a stud on it at the post of an earring, I found that before and I found like gold on pearls and stuff like that. But these are my first 14 karat gold finding with vintage earrings of blue topaz. I got the lot, and when I got it home, I looked, was looking through it, and I was like, oh, these are gold filled. So I pick them up, look at them with the loop, and I see 14K. Do you see that? So I tested them. Okay. Um, they do say 14K on there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, pretty exciting. These are nice. These paid for the lot three times, at least twice. Um, lovely earrings look. 14k and I test these are blue topaz and I looked at them under the loop. They're absolutely lovely. Vintage pair. Sorry, I got the dye under the acid under my nail. I need to wear my gloves. Like I said, it's damaging my nails. But very lovely, quite lovely. Very excited about these. My very first real gold find. Like I said, I found earring post and I found like a clasp on a pearl or another piece of jewelry, but never like a fully intact with a lovely vintage vintage earrings with a lovely blue topaz stone my very first so i'm happy i'll be holding on to them for a while i don't know what i'm doing with them yet but i just said the day before i got that lot i've never found gold real gold in mine you know i said that in one of my lives and the next day i find it and i'm like okay now you have <laughs> now you have anna um this is nice this is a poison ink bangle I'm testing everything now those were clearly marked but i do know gold when i look at it you know how you can tell it looks different i thought it was gold filled though because it looks similar and i've never found gold i found gold filled just never pure gold before very nice i really like that that's lovely 
That pays for the bag right there. Those earrings were in another lot, not in this one, but I didn't announce it when I was doing a silent video because I couldn't. All that jewelry I showed, well, some of it was mine, but some, predominantly it was a fantastic lot that I got that that was included, and it was a lovely lot. These are cute. Rudolph. Nickel-free. You can wear those on Christmas. <clears throat> they shouldn't hurt her. I don't know what that is. It says Taiwan. It's plastic. I guess it's a sash to go, like, to pull your shirt over. Actually, that would be nice if you want to pull a shirt up um, in the summer. These are fashion, like, mall jewelry from Claire's or something. Eva might like them. I don't see what she does. If not, oh, my Lord. A humongous hoop. How big that is. That's huge. That's weight. That's really, really big. Some people like their earrings big, so... Oh. This is brass. Like, it's nice. It's a small, like, open cuff. If I, dainty one. I like it. Yeah. It's very pretty. I think that's nice as well. <clears throat> this is fashion jewelry. More fashion jewelry. It even says that on it. Those look like, they're probably faux pearls in there. I found a necklace and... It had, they could be real pearls. They're not that expensive, I don't think. I don't know. They're probably faux, though. Um, this has a C in it. Is this Charming Charlie's? Do they make watches? It's quartz movement. It says it has a big C. Like it is a, it's metal with white enameling over it and a white face. That is glass, and I don't know who made it, but I'm thinking Charming Charlie's. Doesn't quite look like it. I'll look it up and see. It's costume though I'm pretty certain there this is pretty though it's a big watch I wouldn't wear one that big I'm not a, into big watches this is nice it's glass I can tell by looking at it. it's not stone it's pretty though it needs cleaned it's very pretty it is purple slithers of glass little slithers oh no so I think one of the cats is doing something there's the other earring I think those are lovely so I have a pair very nice, actually. There's another Geneva watch. This one I can clearly tell it's not leather. This one looks pure costume. The other one looked a little better. Paparazzi earrings. I'll add these to my paparazzi lot. Oh, no, it's broken off the edge. That earring just fell right off. Okay. I'll still put them in a lot. I don't know if somebody might want to repair them. I don't see a maker on these. These have the color of mid-century gold tone that they used to put on jewelry. They're pure staring. This is my first time doing a camera up show and jewelry like this. Like, well, maybe not. It seems like the first time pre-recorded. I know I've gone live. Lovely little angel or poor your little girl, actually. It's a little girl or boy. I don't know. It's cute, though. Little pin. It could be celluloid. I don't know, though. It could be acrylic. To look at it closer, see if I can determine. It's cute, though. That's cute, too. I'm not going to try to untangle this. Oh, my God. There's two necklaces tangled. The one's eat. I can get that. Oh, I see a to uh, Tommy Hilfiger sunball. I didn't know they made jewelry. It's a tiny necklace. Look, I'm going to put it on the little black one because it's so small. I don't know. I might acid. Look. It's not open. Oh. Excuse me. Sorry. It's a little cross. Tommy Hill figure. Tiny little cross of redstones. It's a costume. And it doesn't look like anything better than that. This has a shepherd's hook. It's a necklace. Let me put it on the neck. I'm going to dig at the bottom. I see earrings. That's always the best place, honestly, for me. I don't I don't think it's... I think this is more modern. I don't... I don't know. I don't think it's vintage. But it's, you know, it has some rings on it. Let's dig on the bottom and see if there's anything. These look like gold. I don't know if they are. They're probably gold-plated. I know you can find things like this that are gold. I've seen people talk about it. I've never found it yet. But this is gold-plated. Um, they are gold-plated, though. There's one. Let's see if I... I'm at the bottom of my phone. The other one, I don't know if I have the other one. I can't tell, but I'm sorry. There you go. It's cool. There's that. This is nice. 
those little ball those are pieces of glass like built around there look how nice that is it's a little wreath for christmas looks like there's some christmas stuff in there denim earrings those are jeans that's funny Oh, I just can't look. He's adorable. Oh my god, look at that. It's a little bicycle. It has a seat, the handles, a kickstand, the way everything's just it's so in detail. I really like that. That looks brass to me. There's these earrings. They're pretty, I think. Kind of cool. If you have a necklace that maps them, I think I actually have one. This is a 1928 pin. It's pretty. I'm going to start collecting them up again. I just sold a lot of them on, on my um, Mercury not long ago. Uh, I, it's tangled. I'm not going to untangle it. It is a Cameo necklace. It's a lightweight one could possibly be vintage by the class but it's it's a very light one all right here's an earring this actually looks like silver i'm gonna put it on the magnet first it's not sticking there then i'll scrape it i'll show you i need a new stone a bigger one see that line it looks like silver you can see when you're putting it down there you know um and it is you see the blue line yeah, clearly. I put two drops by accident. So that's silver. I don't know if you have the other one in it. I don't know what that is, but look how it's set in there. I don't think it's a stone. It looks like it could be no celluloid or something in there. I'll have to check it out. It's a vintage looking earring. It's nice. I don't know if I have the other one or not. I'll see. Let me dig around the bottom. Like I said, a lot. Yeah, I do have the other one of that. So I have a pair of sterling earrings in here. This has a name on it, and it looks like, like a brutalist or modernist earring. Tay, I cannot read what it says. 925 Tay, a car tapping or something. I'm going to test it. It's heavy. And here's how it scrapes. That looks like, definitely looks like sterling to me. These are heavy, and they I think they're like a, like a modernist or brutalist pair. That's what they look like, isn't it? Look. They're heavy. And they are sterling. Look. That's I get lucky of sterling in these bags, these metal bags, when I buy them. And I don't do it often. I don't find it all the time. But I have one of these. I don't know if I have the other one. I don't know what they say, but they're nice and heavy. I'll see if I have the other one. I have that. This is costume. Yeah, it sticks to a magnet. And that's not a diamond outfit. I can act like I'm engaged now. What do you think? It's pretty. It's a pretty ring. I'm going to see if I've had other big, thick, chunky piece of sterling earring than I just had there. Do I have it? I'll see in a minute. I'm getting close to the end. Look how adorable this is. That is a dragonfly earring. And let me test it and see if it sticks to the magnet. It does strongly. So these are pure costume, but absolutely adorable. Eva will probably like those. I have one. I don't know if I have the other one of those either. These are a little faded. These are 1980s pair of like knotted earrings. They're a little faded. Christmas trees. Cute. These are Avon. They're adorable. I'm not going to take them off there. I'm trying to... Um, oh. These are a pair. These are these look like Monet. I don't know if they are enamel and gold tone earrings, and they're in good shape. I'm just anxiously trying to find another earring, and I don't see it, so that kind of sucks. I may not have it. Um, or I may. Do I have it? Oh, so upset. I want it. Sorry, this is tongue or something. I think it's. A, I've seen these. I have a watch. It says Yik. Yik Funk. It's a necklace. If it feels like it's suede, like it's a choker. Those are rhinestones in there. See? Oh, my neck's too short for something like that. Oh, here it is. I have the other earring, the big chunky sterling. 
So I got two pairs of sterling earrings in here, a cloisonne, lovely cloisonne clamper. I like this watch. These are sterling silver, at least post, and they're nice. Evo probably like those. I love the bike. Okay, I can't deny it. Um, I also like this ring a lot. It's really nice. And I'm not done quite. Okay, some more um, fashion bracelets from the mall, basically. So those are, I think, who knows, it could be gold. No. This could be gold, actually. Sometimes they're very, you'd be surprised. Um, let me get a scrape it just to see. No, I don't think so. Um, I'll keep it aside, though. It's, well, let me test it. Gold stuff. Sorry, right here. I dropped it. I couldn't find it, and then I, when I was looking over here, I saw it. Sometimes the things that don't look like they're, I mean, I've, I've seen it with other people. Um, okay, that is not gold. I just want to test it. This is a little $15 pin. <laughs> it's cute. It's a little heart with rhinestones. And little girl's butterfly necklace. It's kind of cute as glass on it as well. I have a Save Our Forest pin with a band-aid on a tree. I don't see any markings. Those sell better than what you'd imagine. Um, you can sell that type of thing sometimes. Um, I have the other cameo earring. So I do have a pair. Can I show? Oh, here it is. I saw this one looking at me. <laughs> That's why I said that. There's two of them there. Um, I didn't show that yet. I did now a pit pin. I have a number of pit pins in here as I can see like I saw another one in here anyways when I was moving stuff around. That's that's a Christmas pin. Let me see. A flag. Just get through this stuff. Here's the other pit that I saw. Pit. Yeah, um somebody had collected the pit stuff. These are nice and these kind of match that lovely poisoning bango I have. These are a little flatter. They're not as like much metal sticking out, but then it's flat. A portable can opener that I could use in my purse. I, I when I drink pot soda, which I shouldn't, I like Coke in a bottle. Eva does too. I know it's not good for us to be drinking that, but I do drink it occasionally. There's that heart gold tone. What else? What else have I got? Oh, the other gold plated earring. These are nice. Look, I think they're pretty. That's green around the edges and blue in the middle. These are nice earrings too, I think. I didn't, I don't see a maker mark on them, but look, they're pretty well made. Look at the inside, you can see a pillar back there. and I'll have to check them out better. Sometimes there's, they're gold, silver tone, gold tone um, decoration. I have these, these are kind of cute. Too. Look at this. They're cute. They look like something for the summertime. Like if you're boating. I hear a cat. Probably trying to get in Eva's room with her. Her cat, um, Midnight, the one, the traveling cat. He he likes to go in there with her. It says Noel. That's just for Christmas. This is a, oh, look, look, I have this. Um, I was thinking I would want one of these. This one's not very big, but this is one of those, like I could shorten a necklace with it. Is that what they call that? That is that an enhancer or is this a shortener? I don't know, but I I wanted one and there happens to be one in here. It's kind of funny. This is I don't. This looks like Monet, but let me read the name because I'm curious. It is. It's Kraft. It's a vintage. Kraft is a vintage company. It has the spring ring clasp. Looks vintage. It's cute. So it might be a little bit faded. I'm gonna clean it, but it's cute. The Eva would probably like that. It's a butterfly of enamel and rhinestones. It's small. It's, it's probably like a 15 incher. It probably needs wiped off. Sometimes when you wipe it, like the um, tarnish will like come off of it. This is a letter. This looks like gold, but I doubt it is. Let me magnetize it. It's it's gold plated it probably because it's sticking to a magnet. It does look at least like that. This has a letter M on it. I'm gonna double it up and put it on the neck. I think this is pretty. Look, it's initialed with an M. 
school town. I have it doubled up. It has a spring ring clasp and there it is. It's it's gold plated so it's like a magnet. They have these. These look like a paparazzi type of thing, maybe, to me. They do a brass finish on their jewelry um, to make it look like brass, but it's not. This is Panthers, South Hills Panthers. The Shaza, Shaha. Oh, I have no idea. This is a, from a year to 18 to 19. This is cute. I'm almost done. Little angel pin. These earrings, well, one earring. Oh, there is two. Here we go. Those are, I, I am showing everything um, just because I'm going through jewelry bags. So why not? Those are rhinestones. Sometimes um, I haven't done it in the past. I'm going to put this on a magnet. Sticks to one. Kind of look like gold. Look. It's a pin. It's a circle pin. I have a collection of circle pins, too. I'll offer them at some point. Maybe somebody will like them. This is a Cub Scouts bracelet. Look at it. It has like little things on it. It's it's silver tone. It's not. I have one skull earring that maybe silver looks like. Nope. Scraping like brass, like under there. Okay, so there's that. This is a little enamel leaf right at the end here. So if you get this far, um, let me know what your favorite item was and what do you think about those earrings I got I mean talk about kind of humorous that I said I've never found anything in my life and then I the next day there you are I found something copper Thurso I guess that's a player this is a copper pin this type of thing if somebody's a collector this could sell to somebody may be interested in it but that is it um thank you thank you for coming and watching my video hope you enjoyed it I like to test things I go. I did not test the gold because I already tested them, but one more time. Absolutely lovely. I'll hold them, keep them for a while because they are my first find in my in a jar. And I'm pretty, I was not a jar, sorry. It was a lot. It was not a jar. It was a lot that I purchased, um, you know, of like rhinestone jewelry. And they so happened to put the topaz in there. But okay, have a good evening. I will see you. I will be back around um, in a day or two. I will be on Monday live doing an auction slash buy it now. And then I'll have Thrifty Thursday next week. It's been a while. It's time for Thrifty Thursday again. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a good day.